guys, it's your favorite kitchen girl and I'm back again with another mouth-watering and delicious recipe. Today I'm going to show you how to make granite soup, a delicious blend of granite puree, tomato puree and other ingredients that gives this soup its rich, unique taste and very aromatic flavor. I'm going to show you how to make granite soup ninja style. It's called granite soup witty style. Let me start the show, okay? Show, show! <laughs> hey guys! So it feels so good to be back in my kitchen filming brand new recipe video tutorial for you all. It feels like I've been gone for so long. Those of you that follow me on my social media pages, especially Instagram and Facebook, know that I recently took a trip to the city of Accra in Ghana. Why didn't I just say Accra, Ghana? <laughs> whatever i vlogged the whole experience and i'm gonna be putting up the vlog soon on the channel so you better look out for it okay this episode was inspired by one of the dishes that i prepared in ghana with the one and only jay um popularly known as mukasa chick she's one of ghana's biggest food bloggers and it was such a big big pleasure to meet her i'll be uploading the video of Mukasa Chick and I making granite soup Ghana style soon on the channel, but I thought it best to upload this one first so you guys can see my way of doing it and then you see the Ghana way of doing it as well. Anyways, let's get started. Akwaba, welcome to my kitchen. We will begin by turning some roasted granite into a paste. You can use already made peanut butter, but I always like to make mine from scratch using my food processor. Alternatively, you can use a mortar and pestle to make yours if you don't have a food processor at home. Now, processing it in the food processor would take up to 8 to 10 minutes depending on the quantity you're making. Just continue blitzing until the granite releases its oil and a paste is formed. Next, we move over to prepping the peppers and the tomatoes. Chop the peppers, tomatoes and onions in tiny bits, then transfer them to a blender. Add some water and blend to completely pureed. I also added some garlic and ginger and some scotch bonnet peppers into the blender as well. So now that we have all of our ingredients prepped, I already have my meat cooked, my fish washed, I have my crayfish and all of the spices I'll be using right on my countertop. That's how I like to do it. It makes cooking a whole lot easier. I'm gonna start by transferring a little bit of palm oil into my pot. Now I'm using just a little bit because groundnut already contains so much oil and you don't wanna end up eating a lot of oil in your soup. It's already sizzling. Can you hear the sizzle? It's kind of faint though, but that's okay. I can still hear it. It's like music to my ears. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do next is transfer my tomato pepper blend mix. Now, a lot of people do not add tomatoes or peppers to their granite soup or stew, but I like to add it because sometimes I like to use my um, granite stew or soup to eat um, rice, white rice. So I like the flavor it gives. So all of it is going to go in. Ugh. What I'm gonna do next is just stir this around. Already looks so gorgeous. Stir it around, then I'll cover the pot and allow it to simmer down gently for about five to six to seven to eight minutes or until <laughs> the moisture content in it has evaporated. What you doing over there, girl? Oh, you're doing a great job with the vegetables, right? I got an assistant today. <laughs> So now that the attention is on me, I have finished chopping up my pumpkin leaves, also known as ugu leaves. I'm going to proceed to chopping up the uziza leaves. Uziza leaves are very optional, you don't have to use them. But I like the flavor that it adds to my granite soup and that's why I use them. But to use a very small quantity because you're very, very bitter. So I'm just going to roll it up. I'm using about five uziza leaves and just give it a quick chop. Prepping the vegetables, add some water to loosen up the granite paste. Okay, so it will be too difficult for me to mix all of this granite in this bowl. So I'm going to transfer it into a bigger mixing bowl so I can mix it up. I basically just want to achieve a paste-like 
consistency so that it doesn't form lumps when I put them in the pot. That's how smooth you want it to look like. Okay, so this should be ready now. Oh yes, it is. It smells so divine. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is just throw in the meat stock. Now this is just the liquid I got from cooking my goat meat and my beef. All of it is gonna go in. I'm also gonna throw in my granite paste as well. Oh, this paste is so, so silky. This acts as a perfect thickener as well because it thickens up very fast. So I'm gonna put this in batches. Oh, looking so creamy. Next, I'm gonna throw in some crayfish. I'm adding some ground peppers. I'm also throwing in some crayfish seasoning cubes. A little tiny bit of okbei, because I really like to cook with this local seasoning. It's gonna melt in the pot. And then I'm also gonna sprinkle some salt, not a lot, because I already have a lot in, my, in the stock. And afterwards, I'll just give it a good stir. And then I'll bring it to a gentle simmer for about three to four minutes or until the granite paste is dissolved into the liquid. Then I'll come back and I'll show you what to do next. So this has been cooking for five minutes now. I love the way it's simmering and then the peanut paste has melted into the stock. What I'm going to do now is add my fully cooked meat. I'm using some goat meat, also known as tripe. Sorry, not tripe, shivon. <laughs> and of course some beef and then I'm using some smoked mackerel fish as well. It's been washed thoroughly and shredded. I'll give that a good stir. You can see that the soup is already starting to thicken up slightly. <laughs> Looks so good already. All right, we'll just cover this again and allow it to cook for another five to eight minutes. And we'll throw in our vegetables and our peanuts or granite soup. It's as good as done. <laughs> you guys, the aroma in this kitchen is fantastic. Oh my God. This has been simmering on low heat for about eight minutes now. And yes, it's thickened up to perfection. Now, the tech, the consistency of your soup will be dependent on you. If you want it more runny, you can add more water. If you want it thicker, you can allow it to continue to cook for a further, um, for a few more minutes. But I think I just like it perfect like this. It's just in between. All right, so what I'm going to do next is, it already looks so good. Put my Uziza leaves that I shredded earlier, and then I would also put the pumpkin leaves as well. This is just gonna give it some freshness and give it a lot of life. Stir that one final time. Oh, you guys, this is the definition of perfection.com. And our soup is as good as ready. I'm just going to turn off the heat and grab my Eba mold because I'm gonna be enjoying this with Eba. You can totally enjoy your soup with any swallow of your choice, pounded yam, fufu, eba, whatever it is, you can also have it with rice, yam, beans, whatever your taste buds like, you do you, okay? Okay, so I already have some molded eba here. You know there's no way I'm gonna leave here without tasting this, right? You okay, guys, so I am actually, I don't know whether to, whether to call it allergic to peanuts. I usually break out a lot whenever I eat peanuts, so I tend to avoid it so much. Cooking this granite soup literally, literally made me feel so nervous because I just kept eating the granite well before we blend it and I'm like, really friend, it's gonna bust out and show on your face. But you know what? I don't give a damn. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna live here without eating this soup. I really don't care what comes out of my face. It tastes, it looks so good and it smells so amazing. And I know it's gonna taste really good because I mean, I mean, I mean, it's Z cooking it. <laughs> I like that I can still literally taste 
the peanuts. Like the peanuts has a very pungent taste flavor. Ugh, it tastes really nice. Mm. Oh my god. Hold on. I can afford to take one more. <laughs> tastes really, really nice, guys. No jokes. Tastes really nice. Mm. Perfection in a plate. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Now you know how to make ground nut soup, Niger style or Winnie style, whichever one you prefer. If you've been creating this recipe for your family and friends, please can you take pictures and post on your Instagram or Facebook or Twitter stories and tag us Zolicious Foods so that we know and then we will post for the whole world to see. Oh, this soup is so nice. I'm gonna be eating while I talk. And then if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Like if you don't, if you like what you watched. And I'm gonna see you next time with another mouth-watering and fun and interesting video tutorial. Until then, we want to be very kind to one another. Love yourselves generously, like I mean it. Love yourselves generously. And bye-bye. <laughs> mm. mm -mm -mm. Like this soup. Eh? Eat this. <laughs> see me if you eat this soup, you don't want to shoot it. Second recipe.